Hey guys, it is Sunday evening, 5.40 p.m., 5.41. And um, in case you missed last week's vlog, well, I got food poisoning on my birthday while we were out of town. Yeah. So it has not been 48 hours yet and I'm feeling hopeful. Um, but it was not good and not pretty. And at one point I thought maybe we might have to call 911. It was that bad. So anyway, I just did just down a uh, giant cup full of bone broth, very bland. You know, when you've had this kind of thing happen, you need bland foods for a while. And so, yeah, I got that down. I feel a little bit better. I think probably because it's very full of nutrients. Um, I've been drinking some water with hydration tablets in it. And uh, yeah, ginger ale to calm the stomach. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of crocheting done. I did get a little bit of done, little bit done, and I'll show that later in the vlog. I'm just not feeling up to it right now. I'm not even sure when you're gonna see this. <laughs> so anyway, we had a lot of plans this weekend of things we were gonna do for my birthday, and then a bunch of fun errands we were gonna do on the way home. We didn't get any of them done. Not a dang one. So. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is three something in the afternoon. I don't even know. Um, I'm better, but I'm not a hundred percent. If you can't tell by the fact that I'm laying on the couch, um, mostly it's just building my energy back up and my digestive system back up to being able to eat normal foods. I'm not throwing up or anything anymore but yeah so <sighs> anyway I'm letting the kids do some grocery shopping for us so Bob doesn't go have to go out and I'm hoping by tomorrow or Wednesday I'm better and if I'm not I'll go to the doctor so anyway yeah all right I'll be back okay guys so um one of the kids is gonna go to Costco for us tomorrow um, Bob decided after work that he was just going to go to the grocery store by himself, which he doesn't ever do, so that ought to be interesting. Anyway, I suddenly am feeling... I'm not 100%. But most of the day today I was like 60-65%. Move around too much, I get a little dizzy. Um, introduce new foods to the system. The stomach has to decide if it's going to object or not. Um, which, you know, I guess that's to be expected when your digestive system has been sort of forced to clear itself from both ends at the same time. Um, that's the most I'm going to say about that. Anyway, um, I did do some crocheting, uh, before and after I got sick. Um, I decided to crochet some tablet covers, um, out of some mandala sequins from Lion Brand that I got, I think, in a mystery box. And um, I just thought I'd try it. One of them I just made hasn't been blocked or anything, so it's a little bit wavy and wonky. But I have two tablets. I have a 9.7 inch Pro and I have a Mini. I think the Mini is like version one or two. I guess we could find out. Um, they're both really old. I've had both of these since we both since before we moved to Oregon in 2018, 19. It's been six years. Um, the mini is, does it say? Um, iPad mini four. Sorry, I lied. Um, but I've had it a very long time. Um, and the iPad pro is older than the mini. <laughs> so I'm not even sure. I know they make the iPad pro still, and now they're making another mini, but do they make the pro 9.7 inch anymore? I know they stopped doing it for a while. Anyway, I decided to make two covers for them, like padded covers, just for funsies. You could also use them for book covers. Um, the mini one's a little bit big and, like I said, wonky and wavy, but let me turn the camera around and show you what happened. So I used a basket weave stitch. I already had the yarn, like I said. The buttons are for my stash, and um, they're pretty cute. Easy to get into. Uh, very nicely padded and protective if you're like putting them in a backpack because you're traveling. And uh, I do still have a little bit of yarn left over to do something with. So yeah, that was fun. 
All right. Now I've got to figure out something to make myself for dinner that has a little bit of nutrition in it, but it is bland that my stomach's not going to object to. That's going to be fun. All right. And while I have a little burst of energy, maybe do one or two chores so I don't feel so guilty about not being able to do anything. All right, I'll be back. And yes, I keep apologizing to everybody around me for being sick, even though it's not my fault I got sick. That's just who I am. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's 2.14 p.m. Tuesday, August 6th. Normally babysitting day, but because I'm recovering from food poisoning, we put that off at least another day, maybe two. Um, I am just uh, obviously feeling the side effects of having food poisoning, which um, is dehydration and all of that stuff. So drinking my liquids, making sure that I'm um, eating properly and all that stuff. I'm getting better slowly. I'm at about probably 75, 80% today, which is good. Yay. Um, I don't think it's good enough to run after a toddler, but you know. Um, so anyway, I just caught up on my daily drawings and all of that stuff. <sighs> the fun things I was going to sit and do on the beach while we were gone, but I didn't do. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to sit and watch some YouTube, do some crocheting, all the things. <sighs> Nothing exciting because, you know, recovering. I'll be back. Hey, guys. All right. So it's taken four days. And I'm finally feeling about 80%, 85%. Yes, we're going for a walk. I'm outside. Uh, we were thinking we were going to go to the beach for the weekend for my birthday. Uh, we'd been back into getting some steps every day. Even if it wasn't 10,000, it was something. And yeah, then food poisoning happened. And so, yeah, that's the thing. Um... So anyway, I am feeling a lot better as long as I stay hydrated. Uh, and so we're going to go get a, some steps in. Probably not a lot. Probably, I don't know how far we'll go. But then we'll go home and have some dessert because mm. my appetite is slowly coming back. It's it's not all the way back, but iced coffee sounds good. It's it the does. first time in like four or five days I've been able to say that. So Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 5.11 p.m. Wednesday, August 7th. And it was my first day back babysitting after getting food poisoning. It went pretty well. Um, Thomas was really well behaved, super curious. He's turning, you know, approaching two. And so, yeah, anyway, it was great. Um, he did leave a little bit early, so I was able to get a couple of other things done up here in the art room. Yay. Also, our very favorite housekeepers were here uh, cleaning, and um, it's so cute. They started doing something new. Hold on. This is my tissue box I keep up here, and all the tissue boxes in the house look like this. <laughs> so cute. Um, anyway, so it's all good. I am going to sit here and sip some ginger ale um, while Mr. finishes his work day, and yeah. I already did today's daily drawing. I did the writing. I'll post it later. We're doing pretty good. All right, I'll be back.
All right, guys, so this little clip you're gonna see next is an idea for some videos here on YouTube, and you all tell me if you like it or not, and I, if so, maybe we'll do some more. Um, but I <laughs> wasn't gonna film it. I set up a small mini um, sketching painting kit, and then um, I thought when I have time in between babysitting Junior and life stuff and the craziness that's been going on in my life for the last year or so, um, I can sit and do some drawings along with the other stuff I try to squeeze in every day, right? A little bit of watercoloring, painting. My three favorite loves are crochet, sewing slash embroidery, and watercolor. So I want to just squeeze that in somehow. So I made a little, I had a mini Midori? Traveler's Notebook? Anyway, I set it up to um, be a mini watercolor kit. I can use in the art room. I can grab it and take it with me. I can shove it in my yarn bag, whatever. Anyway, that setting it up didn't take long because I had all the stuff. I didn't go buy nothing. And um, if you want a tour of it, we can do that. Um, but it took about 10 minutes to set up. It didn't take long. I made some inserts out of some mixed media paper I already had. And um, then we sat down, I set a 15 minute timer and we filmed the following clip. Now my idea is with the vlogs and with these videos is to encourage you all, look, we're all busy. We wanna be creative, we wanna get our hobbies and loves in, our creativity in, but we just don't always have time. Maybe sometimes you only have 10 or 15 minutes. You can do something with the 10 or 15 minutes. You don't have to necessarily complete it, but you can do something. Maybe it's a little crochet granny square. Maybe it's a couple stitches on a crochet blanket. Maybe it's a little piece of embroidery. Maybe it's a little tiny abstracted painting in this little journal. Um, it could be whatever you want it to be, but block out like 15 minutes for you. Uh, maybe it's 15 minutes in the morning with your cup of coffee because it's the best time to do it. Um, whatever it is. Um, I think if I can do it, you can do it for, for sure. I'm going to include it here in the vlog, but I don't think I'm going to pull it out because I just, I filmed it with my phone like I'm doing right now. But you all tell me what you think. I just realized I left my water upstairs. Yeah. Anyway, you all tell me what you think. And if you like the idea of 15 minutes or less, um, I don't know what to call it. Creativity in 15 minutes or less? I don't know. Uh, I put some suggestions for what to call it down below and let's not limit it to painting or drawing or anything because you never know. With me, it might could be anything and you too. And um, if you want to see more of it, we'll like, plan out some videos. All right, I'm going to go grab my water and rearrange a few things after the cleaning ladies come. And again, we do love them, but they rearrange things a little differently than I do. So it happens. All right, I'll be back. Of course, I forgot a pen again. That's why you keep a stash in the car. It is the end of the day on Thursday, August 8th, I believe. Yes. I have some pictures I can post here of Junior helping Oma with her daily drawings this morning. Um, that was fun. I'm gonna edit a little video clip and take the sound out. He has discovered the hangers in our closet. I haven't even told Mr. about this yet. And um, his favorite thing is to, um, you know, do this. With the, it's hilarious. Anyway, here you go. So it's been, um, he, he's definitely approaching too. I didn't get a lot of done, stuff done and um, what I did, he Junior helped me with. It, it was fine, it was cute. Um, we are headed to the grocery store at 6.28 p.m. just because we kind of want to get it over with. I didn't fix my hair, I still have babysitting hair. It's been a long, hot day. It's still 97 degrees outside. 
Yeah. yeah. And smoking. And smoking, yeah, because evidently there's some fires oh, always in Oregon, California, Washington. Um, and the weather is pushing some of the smoke this way. You can see that it's hazy. I actually started noticing it last night. And then when we got up today, I saw something on next door. And then when we came out of the house, you could smell it. So not surprised. Anyway, I'll get some crocheting done later. I got my drawings done, so that's good. Junior's help was cute and very much appreciated. He has, had no idea what we were doing, but that's all right. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 7.30ish p.m. Friday, August 9th, 10th. I just looked, oh yeah, yeah, August 9th. Anyway, it was family dinner night. And before that, I'm gonna put you down right there. There you go. Before that, I was just catching up on projects and doing some cooking for dinner and all the things. Um, so I haven't vlogged until now, but we're up here upstairs after dinner and I'm gonna do my daily drawings and another little five minute painting. Um, I had an antique table that was my grandmother's and it belonged to a friend of hers. Um, it was an antique when she got it, I think, or at least old. And uh, it's, it's pretty old. Anyway, it's now off to my daughter and son-in-law's house. They're gonna be using it on the daily. I, I'm so happy for that. It was just sitting in a front room of ours, really with no purpose. And my husband and I will be turning that room into some kind of lounge space, which is gonna be fun. So I can't wait to just, you know, sit out there and in a comfy chair in a corner, crocheting, just a reading, or it's gonna be that kind of space. It's gonna be a great space. So anyway, it's all good, yeah. I'm gonna do my daily artwork today and then we will go back downstairs. I also have not finished my iced coffee yet, so I've gotta finish that, because, you know, I also got a very special present from my daughter for my birthday that's actually not here yet, but I have the receipt for it. I'm going to keep it a surprise for you all until I get it because, oh my God, you guys, I'm so happy. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 8.25 p.m. Saturday, August 10th. I, it's been a good day, but it wasn't the day I expected it to be. Um, we spent the day um, shopping, at, shopping. shopping, yeah, shopping. out of the house shopping, and yeah. it took the entire afternoon and we ended up having breakfast, doing the shopping, and then we didn't, we weren't done until dinner. Yeah. And we just ate and had some iced coffee and we're stuffed. Yeah. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, we had a lot of chores to do today. I haven't watered the house plants yet. Got to do that first thing in the morning. Um, laundry to do, all kinds of stuff. I've got some errands to run, which I didn't even do today. <gasps> 
while we were out, I did do a little bit of crocheting, which you saw on camera. And uh, yeah, so it's it's been an interesting day, an interesting week. I am feeling better. I'm glad I'm feeling better. I have my periodic moments where I still don't feel quite 100%, but I'm much better. Um, so I'm just taking it easy, remembering to hydrate because that's important. Um, and I'm just feeling perpetually dehydrated since I got food poisoning. So that's a thing. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good week. Um, as you see from the clips, I've managed to squeeze in a little bit of time here and there to do a little quick abstract watercolor painting and stuff like that. It's not about how much you do. It's just about doing what you love. It might just be a few minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, whatever it is, do it. All right. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links and ways to support the content here on YouTube. Above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Do something nice for yourself, dear. Yeah, always. Do something nice. Always. Always. All right, I'll be back next week. Bye, guys.